Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's like Gushes Patrick's. If you are new here, please be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel before you leave. Okay? So in today's video, I'm going to give you guys tips on how to level up in your 20s. Are you ready for me? Like, are you ready for this? Without much being said, let's just get right into this video. is define your personal and professional life more than any other decade of your life of course you definitely make mistakes but it's fine as long as, as long as you learn from them you get practicing mindfulness and not sticking around the empire relationships can can help you and will live in good shape so with that being said let's just get into this the first step is start writing down your goals the act of writing down your goals and dreams actually helps you to nail down what's on your mind and it helps you in the long run The second point is start letting go of your ego. Learn how to kill your ego because it blinds us from progress and possibilities. So I'll give you an example. I went for this movie shoot some time ago and the way we were treated there was nothing to write home about. Yeah. But then I had to ask myself some questions. Like what was the reason why I went there? And because I knew I was bigger than the way I was being treated, but then I had to ask myself. What am I going to achieve from what I'm doing right now? What am I going if I leave this place now? That, that's my own loss. Like that's my own loss. So there's this saying, pride goes before a fall. That's that saying is always on my mind when those kind of like when I'm in those kind of situations. So I have to ask myself, if I leave this place now, what would I have achieved? So I have to stay back, but I have to stay back and endure. Endure because to get to get to where you want to be. You'll be stepped on so many times you get so then how to kill your ego and i'm not asking you to start kissing ass or something like that but you know you know what i mean yeah. and then trying to ask yourself questions they really do help like what if i'm wrong like what if you are wrong actually like and, and it's on your head you get so start letting go of your ego Third point, stop trying to live someone else's life. Stop, stop trying to live someone else's life. The youths of nowadays, I'm, I'm going to say youths, we all do this. We go online, like we go on social media and start looking at people buying bands and buying the latest iPhone and start feeling bad about, about ourselves. That we have not gotten to, really, yeah. you do not know the, the work they put in to get to that point. You have to work hard too. If you work hard, you will get to where you want to be too. Those are working hard for this my YouTube channel. Please subscribe. Please subscribe. By measuring their own accomplishments with your own, like you will not, you won't ever get the feeling of being for fulfilled in life. Even if you get to the point where they are right now, you will not get their sense of accomplishment. You get. Don't do things because you think you should. Don't do things that society expects of you to do. Live life on your own terms. This life, you only live once. You only live once. You don't get a second chance, so try to live it as much as you can. Don't wait around to start living your own life. When when, when, when are they living their own lives? Okay? Do your own thing and live on your own terms. My fourth tip is start taking a long time. Take time away from your boys or girls and your phone to relax and chill. You must not go out every single weekend. You must not. Try, try to be in your own space sometimes. You get. And then start practicing mindfulness like by being more aware of your surroundings, taking deep breaths and doing meditations because it helps you get through your daily trials. My fifth and last point is start holding yourself accountable for your actions. Yes, it's easy and maybe somewhat justified to blame our parents for our dysfunctional behavior at work or in relationship. Yes, I hate that because my dad hates my mom. But do you know it's actually easier to beat those behaviors when you take responsibility for your actions? Try 
try to stop to justify yourself for your for your stupid behaviors and actions because it, it, it won't lead you anywhere it won't lead you anywhere before you act out try to ask yourself if i do this like is it is it all right with people like is it is it right is it the right thing to do is it the right thing to do i'm not asking you to start seeking validation from people and stuff like that but you know what i mean you know what i mean you know you know so stop trying to justify your bad behaviors you get me try to level up because trying to justify yourself holds you back from achieving what you want to achieve and being i'm going to i'm getting to the point where you want to be okay with that being said that is all the points i have for today if you really want more i can give you more if you want more i can give you more i have more from where this came from okay so if you want more don't forget to comment down below share this video to your family and your friends share, share this video to everybody that needs it to everyone that needs these videos it's not limited to people only in their 20s i just think it's for humanity's sake so it's not it's not only limited to people in their 20s even people that are still growing still need this video okay and with that being said i will see you guys in my very next video see ya catch ya later